What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I am down here in Mike's Paradise. His workshop, his garage, his whole messy as area. All three of his cars plus everything outside. He needs to clean up. Mike, you need to clean up. Uh, today, obviously, we are down here. He's working on his E36, getting that ready for next weekend. It is Reet Surrey up in New South Wales. We are heading there and it's going to be so sick. I haven't drifted for like... Uh, since last year when I crashed my white E36. So, it's been too long and Mike has graciously, graciously gave me his supercharged uh, M50 B20 uh, converted Toyota T18, which is sick. He's done heaps of work for this, it looks awesome. Obviously, we're going to the engine bay, we've got a few things to fix. Boom, BMW powered, supercharged T18. So, uh, I've obviously got a bit of work to do on this to get it ready for next week. And uh, once I've finished that, we're gonna load it up on my trailer, take it to my house, and I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna do at my house on it. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna be driving next weekend. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> so anyways, let's get started. Mike's just butchering the coil showers so he can put some uh, bigger longer springs. Longer springs, bigger springs. Yep. Good. There's red ones down there. Yo. Nice. Bush mechanics. This is this is advanced technology, this is. You won't find this anywhere else in the world. Go in your home. So we just finished doing all the rear section. We cut out the top uh, kind of spring mounts and put in new springs. So now it actually works as a real spring, unlike yes. what we had before. The car actually moves up and down. It's gonna feel so much better. It's not gonna break my back when I'm driving. And now we're up the front. Yeah, and more grip. At the moment, we just finished bashing the rear of the firewall out. So we can actually clearance it for these big boy spaces. And yeah, actually making some progress on it. We're gonna try and make this radiator fit in there instead of the, what's this out of? Uh, Honda Civic. Honda Civic radiator. Honda Civic radiator. So we're put E36 radiator in it. Uh, we've got some new injectors, new spark plugs, and a smaller pulley to put on. And new coil packs. And new coil packs. Yeah, everything There's actually a lot of stuff to be done and not enough time. Yes. New coil packs. Brand new. Man, this thing is getting a birthday. Big time. So, just did all the gasket, gasket glue, everything. Resealed the rocket cover. Just put B25 injectors, swapped them out. We did have B28, but they're a little bit too big and overfueling it. So, smaller injectors and now obviously new spark plugs and we're going to put the new coil packs in. Yeah, and this thing should run like a dream. Swap 
Oh, so I took it for a little spin up the road and it rips. It runs so much better than what it did before with the bigger injectors. Right, so we took it for a spin. Look at this guy. Hey, I'm vlogging get over here, bro. No, you're in my vlog. Get, 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 out get, no, no, get out of my vlog. No, I'm taking this guy. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Mike. Good. <laughs> I am Victor. Anyways, after Mike has stopped being rude over there, uh, right now we're tucking smaller pulley on. So that's obviously the original one. And this, you can obviously see the big difference. I reckon we're going from like a four pair side to that is at least 12 right there. So that's literally just gonna slip straight on there just, and run like a dream. She just slips on like. She just slips don't straight you just in. Don't wish it always happened like that? I know. No? Mike always has to have the lights on to do that. Just spit on it. <laughs> just chuck it on. Alright. Oh, perfect fit. <laughs> Get out of it, Mike. Get out of it, mate. Mad. So we're just gonna swap all that stuff over, whack it on, and see how she goes. Thank you, Dave. Good to say, Faye. Get into a mic. I'm gonna go sell some speed with these glasses on. Yo. Guys, that's it for tonight. We're going back to Mike's right now. Having a few sneaky drinks and some dinner. I don't know what you're feeling like, Mike, but I'm super hungry. Anyway. I'm freaking hungry all the time. I've worms though. You probably do. Maybe burgers. I feel like burgers, Mike. I do love the burgers. Um, but anyways, yep. We finished off, put the small pulley on. Unfortunately now, because the whole supercharger has been moved up to accommodate for the uh, adjustment, it hits the bonnet, which is not good. But anyways, we'll it's absolutely that. ripped. Uh, it runs so much better with the smaller pulley. Obviously, it compensates for all the fuel that we've got pumping into it. Um, yeah, what are your thoughts, Mike? I'm so stoked, man. Mm. This thing absolutely ripped. Feels like it's got, I reckon, about 200 horsepower, 150 kilowatt. 150? Which is crazy. 140, 150? Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna clean up, head back to Mike, and then we'll be back in the morning. We've got a few other little tedious little jobs that we need to do. But anyways, that's tomorrow's problem. Yo! Yeah. Boom! Righto guys, we are back at the garage, uh, ready to get back into it for a full day of working on cars. Mike is working on his E36, he's chasing a wiring problem. I think he reversed it out of the garage yesterday, Yep. and there was like a bunch of smoke coming out from under his bonnet. The car just wanted to set itself on fire. No! <laughs> Bad car. No. Bad. Don't do that. Yes, that's a bad car. Bad car. So he's kind of trying to find that wire and fix that, hopefully. And then I am working on the T18. So we have a new steering column down there, which I got to put in. This one has like no shaft play or anything. Then we go into here. It's like all the shaft play in the world is in that shaft. So, that's what we're going to do. You don't want to get shafted, right? We don't want to get shafted, do we do? My car's getting shafted. Haha, <laughs> 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 so funny. But anyways, that's what we've got to do. I'm going to pull the old one out. 
Alrighty guys, so just finished doing all the install on the steering rack. Nice, no play in it. Had to do a little bit of a dodgy wiring there, which working mint. So much better. We're just going to play around with the caster at the moment. We'll line it. The back's good because it's a solid diff, so that's don't have to worry about that. Um, but that's probably about right, isn't that right, Mike? Yep, everything's pretty much done. Sounds good than when you here yesterday. Yes. Uh, Actually smashing this car out. Yep. Making it look nice, making it drive nice. When I get home, also gonna chuck my bucket seats in it, make it actually fit me because at the moment I sit in it and my head hits the roof. And that's without a helmet on, so it's gonna be ten times worth of the helmet. So yep. anyways, big boy. Let's smash out this and then we can uh, take it for a wee little drive. <laughs> Super hard on this fine, fine Sunday. It's like open up to let it start raining. Yeah, it's gonna um, rain. I need to so as well. So we've all loaded up on the trailer. I'm gonna head home, and I've got a bunch of stuff to do on this throughout the week. And then next weekend we're gonna be drifting. Hopefully, so excited. It runs and drives, and we can get in some sick tandems. Yeah. But anyway, that's right now. I think I'm gonna get a coffee Good and idea. head home. Appreciate Drive it, man. to Mike if you haven't already. Probably have. Because well, both channels. I know, exactly. We cross, we cross, cross. over. We, <laughs> we scissor. Our, we channel, our channel scissor. That's all they Wait, do. We, we do. Like that's like, like scissor. Yeah, scissor like that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, alright. Cheers. Bye. You.